order. The senator from Vermont is recognized Thank for you 30 much. minutes. Mr. President, let me begin not by talking about my amendment, but by talking about Republican action right here on the floor of the Senate. Everybody in this country understands that our nation faces a significant number of major crises, whether it's the disintegration of our health care system, the fact that 17 percent of our people are unemployed or underemployed, one out of four of our children are living in food stamps, we've got two wars, we've got global warming, we have a $12 trillion national debt, and the best the Republicans can do is try to bring the United States government to a halt by forcing a reading of a 700-page amendment. That is an outrage. People can have honest disagreements. But in this moment of crisis, it is wrong to bring the United States government to a halt. Now, Mr. President, I am very disturbed that I am unable to bring the amendment that I wanted to bring to the floor of the Senate dealing with a Medicare for All single-payer program. I want to thank Senator Reid for allowing me to try to bring this amendment to the floor before it was obstructed to and delayed and prevented by the Republican leadership. But I did want to mention that this legislation is co-sponsored by Senator Sherrod Brown and Roland Burris, and I was more than aware and very proud that this amendment would have been the first time in American history that a Medicare for all single-payer bill was brought before a floor of Congress. I was more than aware that that amendment would not win. I knew that. But I am absolutely convinced that this legislation or legislation like it will eventually become the law of the land. And the reason for my, op my optimism that a Medicare for all single-payer bill will eventually prevail is that that will be and is the only mechanism we have to provide comprehensive, high-quality health care to all of our people in a cost-effective way because it is the only approach which eliminates the hundreds of billions of dollars in waste, administrative costs, bureaucracy, and profiteering that is engendered by the private insurance companies, and that is the simple truth. We are not going to provide comprehensive, universal, cost-effective health care to all of our people without eliminating the hundreds of billions of dollars in bureaucratic waste and profiteering that currently takes place and is engendered by the private insurance companies. The day will come, although I recognize it is not today, when the United States Congress will have the courage to stand up to the private insurance